Stick around and I'm going to show you how I made this knife. I began by using some magnets to stick my template to my piece of 1084. I then used a blue permanent marker and outlined the template onto the steel. And that is what I'm left with. It's time to cut. I started with my angle grinder just to get it to a rough length. I then moved to the port of bandsaw where I made a whole bunch of relief cuts and then cut the rough profile out. That's what I was left with after the bandsaw. I got the belt grinder set up and got grinding. It didn't take too long to get this profile cleaned up. I started with a 36 grit belt and went all the way up to 120 grit. I then used a chainsaw file and put a sharpening choil into the blade. Doesn't that look nice? Uh, I got a profile and I'm pretty happy with it. I then used a marker as some layout fluid on the handle portion of the knife. I did this so then I could use my digital calipers to mark and scratch into the handle where I want the pins to be. Oh boy, apparently I haven't put my drill bits away in a while. <laughs> I was able to find the 3 16th inch drill bit that I was looking for and made the three holes needed for my pins. And I also put a whole bunch of other holes in it to help with weight reduction. After that, I used a countersink and cleaned up all the holes. Because I'm going to be putting a design on this spine, I decided this was good enough. Ugh, just like my drill bits, my handle material bin was a mess. Luckily, it didn't take too long to find my micarta pins. I took them over to the port of bandsaw and cut three of them. I then put a slight bevel on the end of the pins, and these three beauties are what I was left with. The pins are slightly oversized, so I put them in my drill and used some sandpaper to take a little material off until they fit snugly. I then clamped the handle scales onto the blade and drilled all three pinholes at the same time. I then used a pencil. Uh, you're going to want to use a pencil here. Don't use a marker. Just take my word for it. And I outlined the, the scales. I took the scales over to the bandsaw and cut them out. Just a little bit of grinder work. And uh, these scales were looking really pretty. I then used my little belt grinder to clean up and uh, fit the top portion of the handle scales because that's something that cannot be done after. I then got a healthy coat of layout fluid on the handle and used a combination of digital calipers and a little machinist square and marked where I want my spine profile or spine design to be. It's hard to see because lighting isn't the best, but I've got it all marked up. After an hour or so, uh, maybe even two hours of elbow grease and micro files, I've got a decorated spine. This is kind of a variation of a, what's called a thorn pattern. Well, it's actually been quite a few days, uh, maybe even close to a week since I started this thing. I uh, haven't been able to make as much progress as I normally do because I'm on call at work. But uh, I have some time today, and as long as my phone doesn't ring, uh, we're going to make some progress. I hope to get the bevels on, and then I'm going to heat treat it and get it tempered. More layout fluid. I love this stuff. It's just so easy to scratch into. I let the fluid dry for uh, just a few minutes, then used the calipers and marked a couple sets of reference lines that I'm going to grind to. I started with a 36 grit belt uh, and then moved to an 80 grit belt there at the end just to clean up the 36 grit grind lines. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. This thing's ready for heat treat. I got the forge fired up and put two pieces of bar stock in there, which I'm gonna use to preheat my oil. And just like that, I got the steel into the oil and uh, while that oil heats up and I kind of monitor that, I'm going to normalize the blade. Though the normalization probably isn't necessary on just a stock removal uh, knife, it's uh, just a habit that I've got into and I do it on all my knives regardless if they're forged or stock removal. Once the blade cooled, I got it back in the forge and took it up to just over non-magnetic and got it in the quench. The beautiful sound of hardened steel. Into the oven for temper, I did two cycles that were two hours long at 400 degrees. This is what I was left with after temper. I used a combination of a drill, a countersink bit, a belt grinder, and some hand sanding to get this thing cleaned up. Oh yeah, I also used files. Uh, files and some sandpaper to clean up the decorative spine. This is the part that probably took the longest. Far from done, but I've got it cleaned up and now I'm ready to put the bevels on it. Here I am back on the grinder. I started with uh, 80 grit belt. I ran through the belts up to 400 grits before finishing with a scotch Bright belt. And I tell you what, I was really happy with the finish. I think it looks really good. Oh, hand sanding. <laughs> I uh, made myself comfortable, started with 220 grit and went all the way up to 3000 grit. Half a garbage can full of sandpaper later 
and I am very pleased with the way this looks. Once this gets polished, it's going to really pop. I got the blade, pins, and handle all cleaned up with acetone and got this ready for glue up. I mixed a 50-50 ratio of epoxy together, added some black pigment powder to really make the uh, spine design pop, mixed that all up, got it glued together, and it's off to dry. I will leave it sitting here like this over some wax paper until tomorrow. This is what it looked like this morning after the epoxy cured. I got some grinder work to do. I began by cutting the pins out on the bandsaw. I then got it on the belt grinder and just kind of cleaned it up a little bit before going to work on the spine. The 2x72 made quick work of the remaining epoxy, and this is when I got the first look at the decorative spine. I was pretty happy with it and looking forward to seeing it finished. Back on the little belt grinder, I gave the handle some shape. I tapered it towards the top and also gave it a little Coke bottle there near the bottom. It was a really comfortable fit. I gave the butt portion of the handle some shape on the sanding wheel. I was pretty happy with the way it looked. I like it. <laughs> After that, I locked my knife in the vise. I cleaned up a couple of my files and uh, put some more contouring and shape on the handle. One more round of hand sanding. I started the handle scales at 220 grit. I took the scales themselves up to 1,000 grit. However, I did the spine to 3,000 grit. Once this thing is clean, it's going to look nice. Back on the belt grinder for the last time, I put a uh, secondary bevel on at 800 grit. I am almost done. I grabbed a polishing wheel, some green compound, and went to work. I went over the entire knife with this uh, compound and wheel. I then spent a few minutes on the strop getting rid of the wire that was left after the belt grinding session and finally ready to look at my work. Well, I am done. Uh, I think it turned out beautiful. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for a sheath, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We'll see you soon.